And we're going to turn now to weather and uh, your important weekend forecast. Mm -hmm. we got a lot happening this weekend. Parades, Father's Day. Yeah. Mel is back with a look at the weather then. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too bad, especially for Father's Day. I think we're looking at more, more dry than wet on Sunday. Okay. We're looking at most of the showers, I think, tomorrow. Uh, so those will be arriving while most of us are sleeping overnight. Uh, still dry out there now, though. This is our Shriners Hospital camera, 71 degrees. Lots of cloud cover over the uh, Rose City. Temperatures in the low 70s and looks pretty overcast in uh, eastern Oregon as well. This is in La Grande. It is 67 degrees there. Uh, this is our camera on Eastern Oregon University's campus. All right, so temperatures today. We started out around 50 degrees, low 50s uh, this morning, and just a very kind of slow, gradual climb uh, through the late morning and early afternoon hours to eventually hit the low 70s uh, just a little bit earlier this evening. So we'll be topping out the day a little bit cooler than average, uh, and the cooler trend is going to continue over the next several days. So uh, big picture, dry today turning wet overnight and it is going to be a cooler and showery weekend again more so Saturday compared to Father's Day but plan on showers and sun breaks both days uh, light rain expected in the valleys uh, around a tenth of an inch some models have juiced up those totals a little bit more so I'll show you one of those rain forecast models here in just a second and the next week will be drying out we'll still see kind of cooler temperatures and some cloud cover Monday Tuesday and then Wednesday and beyond, we're going to be warming up really fast. So we'll quickly see the 80s once again. Could even be flirting with 90 degrees uh, late next week. We'll see. Okay, so this is our graph forecast model. So you can time things out uh, this weekend. Again, dry overnight tonight. Uh, around midnight is so when we'll start to see the showers along the coast. Maybe 2 a.m. for us in the I-5 corridor. And we'll see those mixing with sun breaks throughout your uh, Saturday morning. Notice we might get maybe a couple snowflakes in the uh, Cascades. Snow level will be low enough for that. We're not expecting any accumulation. Uh, so here's Saturday afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, notice things kind of start to look a little bit drier and sunnier in the valleys with most of the shower chances at this point uh, in the Cascades or along the coast. But we'll still see a few lingering into Sunday. So this is Father's Day morning, starting pretty dry, it looks like. Maybe we get a couple of those showers trekking south in the afternoon hours. So this is paused here at 2 p.m., but wouldn't be much. Again, Saturday looked like much more frequent showers throughout the day uh, compared to Father's Day. And Monday, we're back to dry conditions. Slight shower chance, but I think we'll just see mostly cloudy skies. So here's our Euro rain forecast model. Yesterday, this was giving us less than two tenths of an inch. Now it's bumped things up to about three tenths of an inch. We'll see what happens. I think most of us in the valleys, though, I think this is a, a realistic range, maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch. Kind of depends on if we get a thunderstorm bubbling up or not. Uh, and then totals along the coast will be uh, in the inch plus range. All right, so your dry streak forecast here, uh, definitely rainy the next couple of days. Monday, a little bit up in the air, and then lots of dry weather Tuesday and beyond. Let's jump ahead to our seven day forecast here. So temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s for the next three days that takes you through Monday back in the mid 70s Tuesday and lots of sunshine look how fast we pop back into the mid to upper 80s there Wednesday Thursday and Friday real